This is Chris from Game Dev Project. In this asset deep dive, I'll be covering everything you need to know about NWH vehicle physics. I'll be using the Polygon Farm Pack by Cinti Studios, and we'll go through separating your lights from your vehicle mesh, setting up your tractor and a trailer, tweaking the settings of your vehicle, setting up ground detection, and plenty of other content this asset has to offer. In the first video, we'll take a look at taking your single mesh vehicle and separating the lights to be able to use them with the asset. If your vehicle already has separate meshes or materials for these parts of your vehicle, you can skip this video. Otherwise, let's get started. So I've got my tractor and my trailer in a new scene. And normally we would take the FBX file from the models folder straight into Blender. But with the vehicles, once we do that, it seems to reset the pivot points for the wheels. So an easy way around that is using the FBX exporter from the package manager. So to find that, if we go to window, package manager, we change packages to Unity Registry, type in FBX Exporter and install that into your project. We'll start out exporting the tractor. So if we select it and then right click, export to FBX. For our format, we want binary and include, we want models only, export that out. And you can see in our root directory here, we have the tractor. We'll do the same for the trailer, export to FBX. For the format binary, include models only, export. Open up Blender, file, import, FBX. Then we'll import the tractor with our animations. And you can see it's brought over the material from Unity. So there's a few ways we could do this. We could do it through materials or we could just separate the meshes with the materials. We would add multiple material slots to the tractor and then we would select the left indicators, assign that to a different material. Then the right indicators, we'd do the same, give it its own material and so on. Then when we go back into NWH vehicle physics in Unity, we could assign the tractor as the mesh. Then we tell Unity it's the second material. Then for the right indicator would be the third material and so on. Then it can just control it that way. But the method we are going to use here is we'll select the left indicators and we'll just completely separate it from the tractor. Then the right indicators will separate those. Same for the tail lights, the brake lights and the headlights. So we import this as a separate tractor. So to keep things less confusing, we'll rename this to O2. Left click the tractor, hit tab on your keyboard to go to edit mode with face select mode. We hover over the face, hit L on the keyboard, and as long as we have UVs selected, it should select all of the indicator for us. And then we'll hover over the front, L on the keyboard, P to separate by selection. And then we can rename this one. We'll call it left. And then we'll do the right indicators. P on the keyboard, separate by selection. Call this right. So I'm thinking we'll do these as brake lights and these as tail lights, so we can just show the different lights. So these bottom ones, we'll select both of them. P on the keyboard, separate by selection. Then we'll call those tail, and then the brake lights. P on the keyboard, separate by selection, call those brake. And then we'll do the headlights. So the front two, and then the top ones. Now on the keyboard to select all of these. Make sure we've got them all. P on the keyboard, separate by selection, and we'll call these headlights. And the next thing we'll want to do is all of these new objects will need to be parented to the tractor. So if we select the first, holding shift, select the last, then we'll select the tractor, holding control. The last one that we select will become the parent. And to do this, we'll need to be in object mode. So hit tab on your keyboard if you're still in edit mode, then control P, set parent to object, keep transform. And that's it, we can export that back out. So file, export, FBX. And we will name it O2 to match what we renamed earlier. And export. Now we can get rid of this one. So then we'll do the trailer. So file, import, FBX. Select our trailer, import. Like before, we'll rename this O2, keep it separate. And there's less lights on this, so it's a little bit quicker. If we select our trailer, tab to go to edit mode. And then we'll hover over the left indicator, L on the keyboard, P to separate by selection, rename that left. Then if we select the right hand side, P to separate by selection, rename that right. Then we'll do the brake lights, hover over top, L on the keyboard for both of those, P to separate by selection, and we'll call that brakes. So as you can see, we have our left, our right, and our brakes. So we'll go back into object mode, tab on the keyboard, holding shift on the keyboard to select them all then we'll select the trailer control p 
set parent object keep transform then we can go file export fbx and we'll rename this to o2 to match export that out now the ones we use to export out we can delete them so we're left with the trailer o2 and the tractor o2 we'll drag these into our scene now these new fbx files we'll just put them under the models folder so then we'll make a prefab of the tractor and of the trailer and we'll just open up the tractor you can see we have the assigned material that's actually included with this fbx file so we'll just reset this to the one that comes with the pack we'll do that for all the children objects also and for the glass we'll just reset this to a glass material and we'll do the same for the trailer and then our two prefabs can go into the vehicle prefab folder and that's our vehicle and our trailer ready to be used with the pack. So in the next video, we'll take a look at setting up the tractor with NWH vehicle physics. And we'll take a look at the input controllers and tweaking the tractor to sound and feel like a tractor. If there's anything you're unsure of or you want to see some additional content, then let me know in the comments. Also be sure to check out my Discord server. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.